This lesson will show how to use desmos.com to graph a piecewise defined function. We are given f of x equals x plus 3 if x is less than negative 2, f of x equals the opposite of the absolute value of x plus 4 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 3, and finally f of x equals 2x minus 6 if x is greater than or equal to 3. We use the format shown below to graph a piecewise defined function in Desmos, where we have f of x equals and then in curly brackets or squiggly brackets, we have the first interval, colon, the first function rule, comma, the second interval, colon, the second function rule, comma, the third interval, colon, the third function rule. Let's go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. We enter f of x equals, for curly brackets, click on the Desmos keypad click ABC, at the bottom toward the middle we have the curly brackets. We enter the first interval, which is x less than negative 2, colon from the keyboard, or, or go back to the Desmos letter keypad and click shift colon. The first function rule is x plus 3, comma. Now we enter the second interval, which is negative 2, less than or equal to x, less than 3, colon, the opposite of the absolute value of x plus 4, so we enter negative. For absolute value, we can type in abs, or click on the absolute value key, x, tab, plus 4, comma, the third interval, which is x greater than or equal to 3, colon, the third function rule is 2x minus 6. Enter. If we close the Desmos keypad, we have a decent graph of the piecewise defined function, meaning we can see the three pieces, but we need to determine whether we have open or closed points at the endpoints or where we have breaks in the graph. This is determined by the inequality symbol for the interval. Notice for x less than negative 2, the function rule is x plus 3, which is this line here on the left, and x equals negative 2 is not in this interval, which means this endpoint here, where the ordered pair is negative 2 comma 1, needs to be an open point, not a closed point. Let's go ahead and plot that point. Open parenthesis, negative 2 comma 1, close parenthesis. We need to change the color and the style. Click and hold on the blue circle on the left. Change the style to open and the color to red. Click outside this menu. Notice the next interval is when x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 3. Notice for this piece, x equals negative 2 is in the interval and x equals 3 is not. And therefore for the middle piece, the left end point must be closed because negative 2 is in the interval and the right end point must be an open point because 3 is not in the interval. So let's go ahead and plot those two points. Then we have negative 2 comma 2 close parenthesis it's closed by default. Let's change the color to red. Click outside this menu, click in cell 4, and then for the point 3 comma 1, the point must be open. We need to change the color and the style. Click and hold on the purple circle, change the style, change the color. And finally for the last interval, we have x greater than or equal to 3. 3 is in the interval, and therefore, when x equals 3, there is a point on this graph on the right, and therefore, we need to make a closed point at 3, 0. Let's go to cell 5, enter 3, 0, and change the color to red. There is one more way to verify whether the endpoints should be open or closed. If we click and hold on the leftmost piece of the graph, we can drag this point across the graph to verify whether the endpoints should be open or closed. As we approach x equals negative 2, notice how the point jumps up to negative 2 comma 2, which means there's an open point below and a closed point above. If we keep dragging the point, as we approach x equals 3, the point's going to jump down to 3 comma 0, indicating we have a closed point below and an open point above. I hope you found this helpful.